Hey folks, perfect weather out there for this reading. I'm going from the McIlvaney Intelligence Advisor and uh, this month's is uh, called To Control the People, 10 Steps to Fascism and a Total Police State. Experience has shown that even under the best uh, forms of government, those entrusted with power have, in time and by slow operations, perverted it into tyranny. Thomas Jefferson I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. Again, Thomas Jefferson Communism is not the victory of socialist law but the victory of socialism over any law. Peter Stuka, uh, Soviet legal theorist of the 1920s in The Dictators. It should be clear by now that big government's domestic surveillance policies under President Bill Clinton and George Bush are being further expanded by Mr. Obama. Transparency, it seems, had nothing to do with uh, <laughs> good timing with making government more visible it did however have everything to do with making your life more transparent Mark Slavio uh, May 5th 2011 as the Empire crumbles how will you protect your wealth and privacy from uh, marauding government? The U.S. government is broke. So are most state and local governments. And your unprotected wealth is in their sights. Everything from your house to pension fund to the cash in your pocket, can legally, they can legally take it all. That was Mark Nestman. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Benjamin Franklin If a powerful dictator or group of men wanted to control a people, a nation, or perhaps even the world, how would they do it? They would, one, monitor and control all finances, i.e. the money and wealth, wealth of all people. Two, they would control and dictate all health and medical care for everyone. Three, they would control all food supplies. Four, they would destroy all privacy. And establish a total surveillance society. Five. They would control, filter, and censor all information and news. Six, they would control the movement of all people. And seven, they would control all weapons, i.e. disarm the masses. In our day, seize the firearms. If you study most of the evil dictatorships throughout history, from the ancient world to the present, including the Roman Empire, the Nazis, the Soviet Union, and other communist re regimes, and many present-day despotic uh, regimes in the Middle East and elsewhere, you will find that they employ most or all of these techniques to control the masses and impose or maintain their tyrannical regimes. All seven of these control goals or strategies are being implemented today. In varying degrees of completion against the American people and the UK and most of Europe by the global socialist who as Naomi Wolf points out in section 2 below are actually uh, fascists the political left and the vast government bureaucracy controlled by these forces of change. This anti-freedom juggernaut 
began to grow rapidly under the Bush 1, Clinton and Bush 2 administration. It is now accelerating at Mach 10 speed under the present socialist administration. If the political left can control the wealth, the health, the food supplies, all privacy, all information, people movement, and weapons of the American people, they can and will impose a full-on Nazi fascist style dictatorship in America. Can it be done on a global, global basis? That is their goal. I will continue with part one, probably tomorrow, because this thunderstorm looks like it's going to last a while. In the meantime, all peace.